Hey, welcome to Homestar Love. Come along on my crazy journey this week. I have a couple more trees to dig out. This is right like in the middle of the walk space in between the beds here. I also went ahead and put a out of cardboard next to the beds here to fill out all the way down to the corner. So it'll kill everything out underneath there and make it easier in the spring. We'll have to deal with these guys. We're gonna plant, that's a table, table, water table that my kids used to have. They're gonna plant stuff in that in the spring. So I need to get back here with the mower and get some of this stuff in the center cut down, but I'm gonna continue to keep putting that cardboard out and just keep fucking away at this. So here was my fall buy. I bought two of these little guys, these little barrel things. It was buy one get one 50% off, so I went ahead and got some, and I got some soil as well. We also have these guys, buy one get one 50% off, so I got two of those as well. And there's my potting soil I got. Just got my arrow garden all planted. I did golden harvest cherry, or, yeah, golden heart of harvest cherry tomatoes. They're the yellow ones, and I'm super excited because I've never had those ones before, and I've never had anything like this. So it was super easy to set up, and we'll see how this goes. day four of the arrow garden and I noticed on day two that the seeds were starting to pop on the basil that I planted. I don't know if you can see it through there. Here. 
We got little plants growing. waiting on the tomatoes to pop up. Really excited. This thing is really cool. And I got, it's so easy to set up. It came in three pieces. The top piece, this trellis piece, and then the bottom piece. Oops. I'm pushing buttons, I didn't mean to. Um, and then you can get these kits. This one's an Italian herb seed kit. Comes with six pods. Um, I have two of those actually. There's one of them looks like this. And then salad greens you can get. And then I got another one that is a salsa kit. So I'm really excited. Grow all kinds of different stuff and be able to preserve over the winter. So that'll be fun. I also picked up some plants. This one's a eucalyptus. It's gonna stay indoors, obviously. And then this one's the lemon balm. And I can use that for teas. I drink a lot of tea. And then this one's a mint. So and the mint and the lemon balm are uh, perennials, so they're going outside and they'll come back every year. Hey, hey guys. So I brought you out today because we're going to plant these. A couple of plants I got here. Just going to do the lemon balm. That's all it takes, just a little bit. I have a few more things I want to add into this pot, that's why I put it in such a big one, but it's right by my door. So it's right outside the door and that's kind of where I want it. So that if I want to do fresh herbs in my tea, I can do that too. Okay, so a little chat time. This week did not go according to plan. As per usual on the homestead, things never go the way you want them to. So the greenhouse project had to be put on hold. I've been having internet problems. 
and I may just roll this video into next week. So if you see it before next Saturday, you'll know it came out early, but otherwise I might just roll it in because I didn't get the footage I needed either. I had two sick littles. It's the second week of school and everybody caught a cold. It is just a cold. There's no cough or anything like that with it, so not a big deal. But the next problem I'm seeing arriving is my tomato plant's finally getting tomatoes on it. So it's a little late for that. But I still want to be able to get them. I don't want them to go to waste. So I think what I'm going to do is try and put a tunnel over this bed. But um, let's see how that goes. Some of my beans are still producing too, but I think it's time to pull them because something came through and took all the leaves off of them. So they, I mean, even though they're still flowering and producing beans that aren't getting very big, but they're producing, I might pull them. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll just pull the ones that, like this one has new growth at the bottom of it. I don't know, let's see. It has new growth down here at the bottom. The top is dead because something came through and ate all these leaves off. But we've got a flower here, so it's going to be another bean. Um, so, but I, I wonder if I put a tunnel over it, if that would solve whatever is bugging them. And it's cooling down, so maybe whatever's bugging them is gone. I don't know. Um, I'm still new to this too. Uh, <laughs> This is not a how-to channel, this is just a, they come learn with me, um, it's a vlog, but, um, yeah, so I think what I'm gonna do is try to come up with some sort of a wire cage type system or something like that, and then put either a white sheet over it or some plastic, and make a tunnel just for this one bed that I have things in, so hopefully I can salvage, because my tomato plant is still flowering, so, I mean, it's still doing what it needs to. So maybe I can get some of these tomatoes off this way. Um, but I think that a greenhouse would protect it well enough to make sure that it's okay further into winter. It's worth a shot, right? You can't lose anything on this deal. So yeah, we'll check it out. But I want to show you guys. Um, since I had such a weird week where I couldn't be doing all the things that I wanted to be doing, I did my grocery shopping, and we do that once a month, so we get a lot of things delivered. Yeah, it's not good, but, um, <laughs> boxes, I have gotten all these boxes just lined up through here, so, you can see that, I can't see anything. So yeah, we're almost all the way to the fence over here with boxes. Just a little bit left. Um, I need to come out here again to check out all these nettles. You see all this? I'm gonna get my uh, nettle tea ready for spring so that I have it. And uh, yeah. So I'll have to come out and do that, and then uh, continue covering things, because they will grow back after I cover. And I did get a couple of trees dug out here, but did not get done what I wanted to this week, and it's fine. We'll get there. But we are making some progress, and I did get my arrow garden in and growing, so that's super fun. And I did look at the greenhouse, but I did not get for her. I think I'm going to have to go out to the store and make a trip for that. I have a couple of ideas using uh, just recycling old materials and stuff like that. So we can see how that goes, but I don't know. Uh, so next week, pick up where we left off. We have a blessed week and thank you for watching Homestead Love. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and following along with my story. And if you didn't hit that thumbs up, make sure to do it on your way out. Thank you.